two animals arrive at the clinic that are so unusual, Dr. T can't believe her luck. I'm about to go see two very unusual animals I don't typically see every day. Um, one is called a tamandua. It's a small South American anteater, and the other is actually a two-toed sloth. So this should be really exciting. Did you know that tamanduas and sloths don't actually uh, regulate their own body temperature 100%? Uh, I they think have I did, because they get pretty cold. Yeah, they have incomplete homeothermy, so the environmental temperature actually matters. I always call it a tamandua, but it's still an anteater. Right, it's in that family. Oh yeah, it's so an it's related answer. to the sloth. Yes, it is. I didn't. So, I actually didn't know that until I was one reading thing last I knew night. From the yeah, zoo days. they're the same same Z's. Yeah. <laughs> Antoinette the ant eater. Hey guys, hey. nice hey. to hey. see you again. Yes, you too. All right, so you, I heard you got some new fun things today. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Who did you want to start with, Sid the sloth or Antoinette the <laughs> ant eater? Oh, uh, you tell me. <laughs> The names are so clever. I love the Antoinette, the anteater. Yeah. That's so cute. Right, Antoinette is uh, an anteater, so she loves to dig around the ground and she likes to look for different types of bugs. Her environment, she lives outdoors and indoors. We bring her in a lot. Awesome personality. She'll hang out with you for a little bit. She'll lick you with her six-inch tongue and sometimes it goes places you don't want it to. Like, she'll like to lick in your ear and your nose looking uh -huh. for ants and bugs. But, uh, <laughs> Awesome animal, very friendly, and loves interaction with people. Come on, Antoinette. She's yeah. coming. She realized that you opened it. Hi. She's really pretty. She's a blonde. Yeah. <laughs> they, do you have more fun, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Where are you so going? Cute. I have to admit, I was doing a lot of research last night <laughs> before I saw your, your Tamandua, and they were even saying that um, they, they don't walk ever. They crawl. I mean, she'll come up to play. But never. But they she... don't. But yeah, because they're they're in the treetops, and right. so I was watching her yeah. walk, yeah. and she walks on her on, her on yeah. the sides of her hands. Mm -hmm. That's so cool. Yeah, I'd yeah. say ninety percent of their time is wanting to be in the air. Yeah, no, they're totally arboreal, and they're both nocturnal. Right. Thank goodness, Tim and Duas are actually very reserved, um, actually pretty nice animals, but they're dangerous. Those claws in the Tim and Dua, they could actually go all the way through your hand. They're that powerful and they're that sharp. She's really good with her, with her claws, believe it or not. Hi. It's yeah. these back ones that when you're holding her in your arms, if she feels any type of movement that will keep her off balance, mm -hmm. she kind of just clenches on. So it's not that she's trying to do anything to hurt anyone on purpose, but no, sometimes you kind of get caught in the... Uh, these are for trees, not yes. for people. <laughs> you don't have to worry about her biting me. Yeah. No, exactly. You can't do it. I don't even know where their mouth the, the claws. Oh my gosh. Yeah, super small mouth. When he said that he wants to get an anteater, I was a little apprehensive because, you know, you see these anteaters at the zoo and you're like, oh, you know, I want to know about it. But she has taught me so much. Going down my shirt. Yeah, she loves going down shirts. I'm not going down my shirt. No, there's not a nest in there. <laughs> Like, but mom, it's great. Just the way that she loves to be with you and cuddle with you. I would never have thought that I would be cuddling with an anteater. While she's doing that, you might as well look at her. I had to say, we're getting fresh. We're friends, right? We've seen, I've seen you a couple times now. I know. Look at those little tiny eyes. She's very sweet. She has a great personality. And to have an anteater that has a personality, I would never have thought it. 